Hey guys, welcome back to Crash Landing. Now since the last episode, I've expanded my farm here. I moved it over and right here, I'm gonna start doing a sugarcane farm instead. That seems like a good place for it. Speaking of sugarcane, I've also, well, I got the sugarcane seeds from sifting dirt. I said I needed to do that in the last episode. I managed to get some and I've planted it and started growing it. I've expanded my farm and I've got a whole bunch more seeds from bone meal and grass. I also got a whole bunch more fruit trees. Let me just show you all the different types of fruit trees I got. Star fruit, nutmeg, more grape seeds. We got orange sapling, lime sapling, rubber trees, pear saplings, avocado, more rubber trees, papayas, pomegranates, vanilla beans, <laughs> dragon fruits. I even got some cocoa beans from sifting sand or gravel. And I also got cactus seeds from doing that as well. And white mushrooms. I think we can plant these on wood somehow. I think we turn this into a spore and we can plant that on wood and actually farm these mushrooms. Uh, I'm not too familiar with that so I'm not too sure how it works. Food chest is looking good. We've got loads and loads of different foods and I've started turning them into better foods. So fruit salad you can make from grapes or apples and a cutting board. Grape juice is just juicing down grapes or raspberries. You can do that with lots and lots of different fruits. Anyway, let's stop wasting daylight. I'm going to quickly show you the expansion over here. Um, I've added some more fruit trees. So we've got an olive tree, cherry trees, and these are actually grown. And also we have vanilla beans and nutmeg over here. And I've also been farming some rubber trees so that we can get started with something cool today. I'm hoping to actually set up some kind of mob farm, possibly. A basically just a really, really simple mob grinder using conveyor belts, punji sticks and hoppers. I'm basically just going to modify the trench that I've got out there. I'm going to set conveyor belts to push everything into the middle of the trench. And in the middle we'll have punji sticks with hoppers underneath so that any, any loot that drops goes straight into a hopper and then over into a chest so that we can collect it all. Pretty cool. So we're looking good for food. These are grown. Are, are these grown? Nope. And we got tons and tons of dirt as well, which means we should be okay for food. Did I just compost down a cherry? I think I did. That is not what I wanted to do. Uh, water is looking good as well. We've got some water sitting in the fluid duct as well. Still got more leaves cooking down. Cobblestone generator is just crazy. Seriously overpowered. Um, Wow, I also need to start thinking about another food chest. That is how good we are doing for food. We're literally overflowing chests. Okay, so rubber trees. You can cook down the raw rubber that you get from rubber trees and turn that into rubber bars. You can also turn those rubber bars into plastic, which you can use to make loads and loads of different machines, really useful machines like the planter and the harvester and the grinder and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to make any of these uh, machines anytime soon because they've changed some of the recipes, the main one being this machine frame, which requires a logic expansion card, which requires a circuit board, which, yeah, that apparently requires some pneumatic craft machines, which I think we have to actually go adventuring over to the city to get. So we're not going to worry about that just yet. We can use these rubber bars to make conveyor belts, which is what I'm going to use uh, to actually start this mob farm. However, I'm going to need some more sugar cane so that I can make the punji sticks. Let's take a look at the recipe for punji sticks. I've got it right here actually. So it's five sugar cane. I'm also going to need at least two hoppers and some item ducks. I've got some item ducks here and I believe hoppers can actually be made out of aluminium as well or aluminum depending on where you're from so if we search hopper you can make it out of iron as usual and also aluminium which is really really useful because I don't have much iron and all of my iron seems to be going towards making shears so that I can survive so I'm going to use aluminium for the hoppers let's make two hoppers that should be all that we need. Now all we need is a set of punji sticks. And to make those conveyor belts, let's take a look at the punji. How many do we get from this? We get five punji sticks. Hmm. 
We might not need any more than that. So let's take a look at the conveyor belt recipe. We need iron and redstone for that. So I think I'm going to make two sets of conveyor belts. So 32 in total. And there we go. We've got the conveyor belts. Let's put the rubber bars back in. No, not in there, in here. So I'm not going to use any more for now. Now it seems to be getting dark, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to wait out the night, I guess. And clear out the trench in the morning. That's gonna be quite a hard task, it seems. Because we do get a lot of mobs sitting in this trench. At the moment we've only got two because uh, I actually shot one of the creepers in there and he blew up and everything else in there exploded. Cool, stuff is spawning. That dude's got a bow, so I'm going to retreat. Because I do not want to get shot off of my little platform. So guys, I'm going to wait till morning when we can actually start thinking about building it. And then we'll obviously build it and I'll also look into the quests that we can hand in. I think there's a couple more quests that we can hand in, possibly get some new ones. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm just waiting out the night here, and I thought I'd do a bit of cooking. Seeing as how we've got a bunch of new types of food, we might as well use them. What are you doing, crazy glitchy spider? Please don't scare me like that. Okay, so one of the main amazing ingredients that I'm really excited about that we've got is peanuts, because we can use these for something quite amazing. We turn it into peanut butter, which is really, really simple. We can eat that as it is. But we can turn that into loads and loads of different sandwiches. You've noticed the PB&J sandwiches that we got at the start. Well, you can basically make sandwiches out of pretty much every type of fruit. So apple jelly, blackberry jelly, grape jelly, loads and loads of different types. All you need is jelly, bread, peanut butter, and the cutting board. You can also make celery, peanut butter celery. That's interesting. Uh, but yeah, loads and loads and loads of sandwiches. To make this jelly stuff, you just need a saucepan, the juicer, the fruit, and some sugar. So, we're going to need a saucepan. I didn't think about that. Let me just quickly... I believe it's four iron. Oh, no, it's just one iron and a stick. That is easy to do. So, how much iron have I got in here? None. But I do have a spare ingot there. So, we'll get that cooking. And we'll turn that into a saucepan. In fact, I've got one here, so I'll just make the saucepan quickly. So I believe we take uh, we take the jelly. Let's quickly show the uses of that. Oh wow, you can just make caramel out of just sugar and a saucepan. Yeah, baby, that is going to be good. Really simple food. Taffy out of salt, water, and sugar. Wow. This, this saucepan is a really useful thing to have, I guess. Cool, so where's the jelly? It is a juicer, sugar, and the fruit. Okay, so let's make some raspberry jelly, shall we? Let's, let's make five, why not? So, saucepan. Oh, why not? Because I've only got four sugar. Let's make one more sugar. Saucepan and the juicer, which is on the shelf. Okay, there we go. We have raspberry jelly. Now, if we turn turn some of our rice into flour, we can actually make bread from that. I think we're also going to need water, which kind of sucks, but we do have quite a lot of water. So, flour. And I believe we need salt and water to turn that into dough. So, I'm just going to grab some of that quickly. Okay. And it seems like it's becoming daytime, so let's actually turn that into fresh water and we get more out of it. Flour and salt and a mixing bowl, I believe. Okay, we may have to abandon this food making because we do have to start working on other stuff. So we could turn that into bread and then use that to make sandwiches. We'll do that in a second. We need to go and start on the mob grinder, so... Let's put these back. We can also refill our needle gun ammo using arrows and gunpowder. Pretty simple. 
I will probably start doing that, but for now I'm just going to use my bow as I don't have too much time. Let's head up here and try and kill everything in that trench, as well as this spider, because he's going to be a pain. Die already, please. Whoa! Oh no. Oh man, I'm gonna die. That zombie's got a bow. Get away from me. Get the hell away from me. Wow. Wow, that was a close call. Eat. Eat, baby, eat. Um, yeah, I may, I may take a little break before I actually try and make this mob grinder. Let's see, see how many potential problems we have in here. Quite a few. Yeah, I'm going to take a break. Okay, last creeper and he's dead. Right. Uh, I need to get down there. Hopefully this spider doesn't cause any troubles. Right, let's get down there and start building. So the basic idea is that the conveyor belts will push everything to the center. It doesn't really have to be the exact dead center. And then there'll be punji sticks on top of hoppers, which will kill all the mobs and collect the loot and should push the loot into our base. So... I'm going to try and get it set up as quickly as possible. Hopefully before stuff starts spawning again. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the basic design set up. I've got a nice amount of time left, I guess. So the conveyor belts push everything, items and mobs, onto these two squares here, which have punji sticks, which basically kill anything that stands on them. Only like one... Only like half a heart at a time, but it will kill everything that stands on it. Uh, so yeah, it may get really, really noisy at night times, but it's worth it to collect all the drops. Are you going to break? Please break. Okay, and underneath those hoppers, which are both pointing that way, is an item duct, which flows through here and obviously is set to output, and it should output any items it gets to the chest or a chest that we put here. I'm just going to fill all of this in so that nothing can bother us. And that should work perfectly. Hopefully uh, we get loads and loads of drops and hopefully everything around here falls into this trap. It, originally it was three blocks wide. I made it two because I only had 32 conveyor belts and I would have needed another 16 or so I think. Anyway, that's that's basically it. It should work perfectly. Let's go into the base and set up the chest. While we're waiting for the night time to come and all the mobs to spawn, I guess we can go and make some more food. So all of the good stuff, rotten flesh, bones, feathers, flint, arrows, everything that those evil mobs drop should go into that chest. And we should be able to collect it really easily without even leaving our base. Uh, let's uh, let's check our quest book quickly, actually, because I know there's tasks that we can hand in. Fright Night, I've been working on killing stuff. Oh, we only need to kill one more skeleton to get that Fright Night quest done. Let's uh, let's see if we can shoot a skeleton through a hole here. I know I've seen them start shooting me through the holes here, so hopefully we can. Shoot one ourselves. Hello. Yep. Hopefully we can kill this guy. And we should be able to hand that task in. You're going to die already. Brutish skeleton. One more hit. You should be dead. Cool. Let's see if that has registered. Oh no. Fat fingers. Oh no. Get out of here, you stupid spider. Have you ever... Have you ever done that when you, uh, you go to press... E or whatever button you're trying to press and your hand just presses everything but that button. Wow, that was panic. Panic mode indeed, right. Creeper plant seeds. Mm, I don't think I need them anytime soon. 
Okay, we killed the skeleton. Let's uh, let's hand the quest in. What do we get? We get two boxes of needle gun ammo, some zombie jerky, and ender pearl. That could be really useful. Oh, we're not done yet. We need to kill one enderman. That is not going to be easy. There is one on the mini map, but he is a lightning enderman, I think. So I'm not going to mess with him. All right, we're going to make some food and hand in some more quests. I just need to do a bit more food preparation and I'll be right back once again. Okay, another cooking utensil that we're going to need is bakeware. Wow, there is a lot of spiders out on the minimap. That is a lot. Wow, so we're going to need some more clay to make bakeware. Uh, unfortunately, we can't use this clay to make smeltery stuff, which kind of sucks. But... To, to get clay, you basically put dust in a barrel of water, an ex nihilo barrel, and that should turn into clay. You get a clay block out of it, all you need to do is place that and break it. You should get some clay balls. Now, we need eight of these to make the bakeware. I believe we still have some clay left over from earlier, so one more. We should have some bakeware. Let's throw that in there to get cooked up. I'm going to put some charcoal in there. Okay, and also let's make that peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So we've got the jelly, we have peanuts. Actually, we can only make four, can't we? So let's put one of each back. So chopping board. I believe it was just... Oh no, we need the juice as well, don't we? So let's get the juicer. Let's juice the peanuts into peanut butter. Okay, so peanut butter, jelly, bread, and the chopping board gives us some raspberry jelly sandwiches. Oh yes, let's take a look at the food value on that. Wow, look at that. Four hunger bars and three and a half uh, saturation. I think that's saturation. That's what it seems to be. So that is a really, really good meal to have. Um, and it's a nourishing meal, so definitely good to have. Uh, let's... Let's actually chow down on that spare raspberry jelly. Okay, what do we have a lot of? Apart from candleberries, because we can't really do anything with those except make candles or just eat them raw. We have lots and lots of apples, quite a lot of stock. We can actually use this rutabaga to make stock, I realised. Also, you can use it to make a salad, but stock will be really useful. And... Once you've got the stock from it, you can use it to make garden soup. I think that's how I got that garden soup, actually. Uh, so let's look at the uses for apples, because they seem to have lots and lots of uses. There we have the sapling. If we do a pot and a mixing bowl, we get apple sauce. Unfulfilling snacks. That's not great, but it is something. Apple juice, dough, sugar, and, an, and uh, bakeware will give us an apple pie, which is the exact reason... Why I'm making these bricks to make bakeware. So just put it in a circle like a chest pattern and you get yourself some bakeware. Let's make let's make a couple of apple pies, shall we? So one, two. Actually no, I turned it all into bread, didn't I? Oh, that was stupid. Let's get another bucket of water. And we can make some more food. So we need more flour and more salt. We've got salt. Have we got the mixing bowl? No, we don't. I can't wait till I have like a backpack or something so I can store all of these food making items. So flour and salt. We've got some more dough. Now we use the bakeware. The apples, did I? I didn't pick up any sugar. There's no sugar in there. Let's turn that into sugar. Okay, so sugar. Apples, dough, and the bakeware give us apple pie. That is also... That's not actually as good a meal as sandwiches. That is surprising. That is really surprising. I thought apple pie would be better than sandwiches. Seems like most things are dead around here. Let's check our chest. Ah. A conveyor belt. That's not a good sign. That means something blew up and griefed. 25 bones, though, that is really good. That is pretty much the main reason I'm making that mob trap, is to get bones and arrows. And zombie flesh, not really too interested in zombie flesh as much as bones and arrows. Also getting low on water, so I need to drink. Damn it. 
One of them has definitely griefed that. That is not cool. And that dude seems to be not taking damage or... Yeah. Maybe the punji stick's gone. That is interesting. Okay, so yeah, even though mob griefing is off, it seems when creepers explode, they still do some some damage to the environment. We'll have to fix that in a second. Uh, let's get some water up because we're getting seriously low. Starting to sweat. Okay, and I've still got quite a lot of water in reserve, as well as having these constantly full and lots of dirt if I ever need some more water. Okay, so let's make some more stuff. What else can we make with dough? We don't have pumpkins, don't have carrots, don't have chicken. We can make other kinds of fruit pies. We don't have lemons, don't have blueberries. Can we make a cherry pie? We can make a cherry pie. That is cool. I've got some cherries here, so let's do that. Think the exact same recipe, surely. And sugar and cherry pie. Cool. So we are definitely looking good for food. Uh, let's throw... So good, in fact, that I don't have any room to store all of this food. Okay, let's... Let's clear some space and let's do some quests because I don't think I did many quests in the last episode. Okay, sugar. Let's just throw the sugar in there. And the flour as well. Right. Put that away. Okay. So, let's look at the quest book. We, uh, we need to kill an enderman to do that quest, unfortunately. Uh, what others can we do? Metal dust. I have completed, so we can pick a reward and claim it. Let's check. I've got space in my inventory. I do. So, I think a hardened energy cell would be really good to have because it would help us with power, and that means more lives, more machines and stuff. However, leadstone thruster I can use to make a jetpack. And a jetpack would be really, really handy. So, let's... Uh, can I please type properly? Okay, how do we make jetpack? No, let's look at the uses. So all we need to make a jetpack is lead, a flux capacitor, and a leather strap. And leather strap is just two iron for leather. I could I could pretty much make a jetpack like right now. I have I need one more leather and I can make a jetpack. Cool, I'm definitely claiming that request. Uh that request, that reward. Okay, so claim, and we even get a hardened flux capacitor back with that. Let's look at the next stage, melting leaves, we could actually do that right now. So let's go and, we should have done that way earlier, but I, I didn't have any spare water. Now we have lots of spare water, so let's grab a bucket and we can hand that in. Manual submit, it will take our bucket, but it will give us one back, as well as a water bottle and a spare sapling back out of that and what else do we have so moving things around I've already made fluid ducts and item ducts it wants us to make a leadstone energy conduit that'll give us a pick an iron chest a tank or a flux capacitor hmm, that's interesting that's a hard choice between a tank and a iron chest how am I doing for water I'm out of water already let's fill up quickly Wait a sec. Oh, we can turn water bottles into fresh water as well. That's good to know. Okay, let's, uh, let's just fill up some water bottles while we have time. One, two, three, four. And we need to put some more leaves in there. Or zombie flesh or pretty much anything that composts down. Actually, I don't know if we can put zombie flesh in there. I think it has to be leaves, but we can use the zombie flesh to make dirt instead of leaves. Uh, okay, quests. What's the next one? Uh, the end of the beginning. We have to make some plastic sheets and a printed circuit board. Okay, let's uh, take a look at this. You should always read these tasks. I always forget to read them, but you should definitely read them. Plumbing, yep. Okay, so we kind of need to read this one. 
Well, you have done it. You now have a stable supply of both food and water. You have tools to shape the land around you and weapons and armor with which to defend yourself from attack. It is time to start looking beyond your immediate survival and start planning for the future. Remember, plastic sheets can be made from either raw plastic or the plastic from pneumatic craft. A re that's a really nice reward. 16 iron dust. Slime plants. I've got rubber trees. We don't really need that. Slime plant. I guess would be my choice, because I've got loads and loads of redstone. Um, we can't do that quest yet anyway. So the next one is going to be looking for the smeltery stuff in the city. Making a leadstone energy conduit. In fact, I could probably make that right now, to be honest. I think it's just lead and redstone. Oh, and glass. Well, we'll work on that for the next episode. I need to make some glass and probably cook down some more lead. Uh, let's throw these ingots back in there. Yeah, I definitely need to cook down some more lead and stuff. Gunpowder goes in there. Man, the amount of spiders on there. Okay, let's eat. Let's eat some cherry pie, shall we? And I need to start thinking about fixing my mob trap because it broke in the first night. That is not cool. Also, I have no more arrows left, so should start thinking about collecting some from there. Right, have you broke that punji stick? Oh, skeletons. Oh, that could have been bad. Have you broke that punji stick? I think you have, because I cannot see it. Okay, I need to I need to sort that out. Hopefully it doesn't keep breaking, because that's going to be a real pain in the butt. I may have to set up some kind of drop trap where they just drop onto the punji sticks. And then they can't blow stuff up. Who's shooting at me? That is not cool. Okay, so I guess I'm going to call it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps me out. Helps the channel grow. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.